So why I got beef with AP watches? Why I think investing in an AP watch or Rolex is a bad idea? That's a strange title for a video, but I'm a strange man. So strange title for a video, but it should also be a short video. Now everyone has like a pet hate. Everyone has something that, I'm not gonna say pees them off, but like something that they really strongly disagree with. Um, I was talking to my girl yesterday and she's a mortgage broker now. And um, there's different types of mortgages, capital repayment. So for example, if you buy a house, this house, let's say I bought this house for a hundred grand, Every month I'm making a payment, yeah, I'm cutting down how much I'm paying, I'm paying back the mortgage, I'm paying back the loan. Whereas if you do a buy to let, i.e. a rental property, so you live here, you own this property, for example, and then you've got another property around the corner, you've got some people there uh, renting, most people are going to do interest only. So let's say, for example, the mortgage loan is 80000 although you're making monthly payments, you never pay back that 80000 uh, on a month to month basis. When the term ends, i.e. 25 or 35 years, then you have to come up with a lump sum, which is the 80 grand to pay it back. Um, and there's some other alternatives and that you can do. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna put no words in her mouth and that, but I don't know uh, the interest only thing is a pet hate for her. So when we talk about it and that, she come, like she gets a little bit uh, like annoyed with the idea of uh, interest only. Oh no, it's a bad idea, and, and yeah, like she's disgusted with the idea of interest only. And I can understand why. She knows an older man that was dating one of her family members years ago, and he had an interest only uh, mortgage on a residential property. So he was living in the property, but he done it interest only. Now I don't want say a man done this but more than likely he pretended that it was a buy to let property so he could put down 25 percent deposit and then lived in there now why would someone put down 25 percent as a buy to let rather than put down 10 percent as a capital repayment residential well if you don't meet the afford if you don't meet the affordability of being able to make the monthly payments because you're borrowing 90 percent against a property you ain't gonna be able to afford the mortgage. Yeah, you might have the 10% deposit of a million pound property, which is 100,000, but can you pay back that 900 grand? Do you meet the affordability to be able to pay back on a monthly basis that 900 grand? Where some people can actually come up with 250,000, put down as a deposit, and then that property is supposed to rent out itself, and the monthly payments are cheaper. So anyway, she knew some man that had an interest-only mortgage on the property that he was living in. Let's say, for example, the interest only mortgage was worth one million pounds, but it was interest only. So even if he's making a thousand pounds payment per month or 10,000 payment per month towards this mortgage, because it's interest only, that one million pounds is fixed until the term ends or he needs to sell the property. Now, for the most part, um, properties always go up in value in that. So. If at any time he needs to sell the property, hopefully he can sell it for 1.2 million rather than 1 million. Well, anyway, something happened with this guy, something to do with his wife or whatever. What he tried to do is try to be sneaky. Remember, the property is worth a million pounds. He tried to lower the value of the property so that when he has to sell it, he don't have to give the wife as much money in it. That's why I say, man, don't get married in that unless you work out as though because then you ain't got nothing to lose. He lowered the value of the property so much that when it came time to sell, instead of him being able to get a million pounds for it, for example, the man was in the minus. The man only got 800 grand for it, for example. So that was one of the examples she used when she was saying that she don't like the idea of interest only. Because, all right, the guy did try to do something dodgy in that. But if there's a recession or a crash and the, uh, the house prices lose value, the houses lose value in that. Well, if you're coming up to the end of your term and your property that's worth 100 grand has gone down to 50 and in the next two years you need to repay back that loan and in the next two years it doesn't go up to 100 or above, then you're going to be in some trouble. You're going to need to come up with the rest of the money somehow out of your own pocket to pay back this loan. And that's what could happen to some people. So that's why she don't like the idea of um, uh, interest on the mortgages. Now, apparently... Uh, they might even be getting rid of interest-only mortgages and that. 
So I was thinking about, um, you know, the fact that, oh, she really hates it. Oh, it's a, it's a bad idea. It's, it's, not, it's not good in that. And there's passion behind it. And I was saying to her, I don't understand why there's so much passion behind it. And then you as a human being, you just speak to yourself, you know, I think that's a bad idea and leave it at that. So I was thinking about that conversation that me and her had. And I was thinking to myself, do you know what? Someone could actually look through my videos and say, Jay, you have passion when it comes to this uh, buying a property over AP Watch team. You know, there's certain people that think buying an AP watch is a better investment than buying a property in that. And I'll say, oh, no. And I'll go into one and that. So I'll speak to myself. Yeah, do you know what? I'm probably a bit like that, you know, when it comes to um, when it comes to the, the AP watch thing as opposed to when it, she thinks about the interest only thing. But with my situation, it's a little bit different. See, there's a mindset that goes into uh, a man wanting to buy an AP watch over investing in a property. You see, man that want to buy an AP watch, they're not really buying it because it's going up in value. That's a, a really good buy product. Man's trying to not swear these videos nowadays and that. Um, the AP watch going up in value, that's a good buy product, yeah, of uh, making that investment. But the reason why man didn't want to buy an AP watch, it's not because it goes up in value. That's not the main reason. Man didn't want to buy an AP watch to stunt in the club. Yeah, fam. Man didn't want to impress man. Man didn't want to uh, suppress people around him. What does suppress people around him mean? I've got a better watch than you, fam. You're still rocking flipping local Casio watch or local Fossil watch and that. Or local Diesel watch. But man got the Rolly, fam. Man got the AP watch, blood. What are you saying, fam? The fact that Rolex watches and that go up in value, the fact that AP watch go up in value is a good byproduct. But you know what? In this world, it's all about the mindset, the reasoning behind certain people doing stuff. Remember, no one can see where you live, you know. No one can see how much properties you got, you know. Unless they're doing some real digging and that. Unless you have a social media platform and that. The average man that walks past you in a row, they're not ever going to know how much properties you got. But they can see, oh, you're a man of value because you got an AP watch, because you got a Rolex and that. Man see people, man see people's Instagram stories and that, and a man will be driving with his left hand, filming uh, outside the windscreen, getting his, his, his arm uh, in, in the shot whilst he's driving and that. And you can think to yourself, see, see me, oh man, man read into things, you know. Call me a madman, call me what you want. Man read into things, you know. How are you a right-handed person yeah, think about it this way. Yeah? You're a right-handed person. Yeah? Everyone drives with their right hand if they're going to drive with one hand only. Why is your left hand on the steering wheel? Why are you recording with your right hand? I'll tell you why. It's because people wear their watches on their left hand, on their left arm. So a man's recording, driving with his left hand and that, to show the fucking watch. Man, not just show it. Oh, yeah, I'm out and about. I'm in the, this area, that area. A man is doing it to get likes, to get followers or whatever, and, yeah, to impress the people them on Instagram. Foolishness. Foolishness. See it all the time. See it all the time. I'm not saying don't buy no Rolex watches. I'm not saying don't buy no AP watches. It's cool. But make sure you've got properties patterned there, fam. Man, I'm not buying a, a Rolex watch or an AP watch because, yeah, it's a great investment and that. That's a good byproduct. Man, I'm doing it to stunt. You know, I could even respect a man if he bought an AP watch and said, you know what, in a year's time, this is going to go up by 10 grand. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not even going to wear it one time. I'm going to leave it in my safe. Everyone should have a Ross Clark safe. I'm going to leave it in a box in the safe and not take it out. Maybe on my birthday, I'm going to wrap Ross Clark clean through around my hands so it don't damage in that. But man, I'm not doing that. They're buying a watch to show off in front of people. How the hell are we as black people supposed to elevate how are we as black people supposed to build up wealth and and you know like uh generational wealth and help others in our community in that paved the way if we're not buying properties and that if we're thinking about you know what an ap watch or a rolex watch is buying is better than buying a property it don't make no sense fam you think white people do that the reason why white people are ahead of us because they don't think like that for the most part You think Indian people think about, oh, yeah, maybe buy an AP watch or whatever. No, they got bare properties patterned. What about the Jews in Stamford Hill? They man they have bought up the whole of Stamford Hill. You think they man they care about Rolex and AP watches before properties? No. 
Them man, trust me, them Jew man, them put pressure on the fact that they want to own the whole of Stanford Till. When I used to work for Harringay Council, um, some of near Stanford Till is technically in Harringay, yeah, the borough. And um, I remember um, I was working in one of the properties, a council property, yeah. This guy come knocking the door, innit? And his name was Joshua. <laughs> Typical um, Jewish name, innit? Um, his name was Joshua, innit? Cool brother, innit? But he, he, he was very pushy. Basically, he was saying to me, like, you know, who, who's going to be the people that's moving in here? And, and I said, I don't know, innit? Yeah. And basically, he was trying to say to me, like, listen, who do I need to talk to in your company to go about buying this property and that? Because he don't want, for one, he don't want no, I don't know, ragamuffin people grow, um, renting the property on this road. And for two, them not want to buy out the whole of Stanford Hill and that. You think a man like that business is about AP watches and Rolex watches and that? No. No, man, I'm not buying watches and that just to stunt in front of people. I had a man phone me the other day, chat to me the other day, said to me, yeah, you know what, man, I just uh, financed this Rolex watch and that. And I was so disappointed. I, uh, I said to him, blood, man, you got used, man. You should be thinking about trying to buy a property. Like, yeah, 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 man, we'll get to that and that. Sad still, man. Sad still. But yeah, this video did go on for a lot longer than I thought. But um, yeah, so that's that's my pet hate. And why man got such a passion for uh, this Rolex watch or AP watch versus buying a property thing is it's stunting our growth as a community. Someone put down in the comment section, yeah, what would be better for black people to do? Buy a load of properties that we can hand down to our children, grandchildren, and that, or buy a load of AP watches and that. It's only the reason why people want to do it is to stunt and that. It's only a person with an urban, show offy, flashy, flashy, impress the world type of mentality that cares about buying a damn AP watch or Rolex watch when they have no properties. Some people, their greatest asset is their BMW or their Mercedes, blood. My greatest assets are this property here. I've got one around the corner. I've got one in Egypt. I'm in the process of buying another property right now. That's going to be my, my greatest assets. Not no Ross Clark car. Not no Ross Clark watch. Stay away. Come off my team, fam. 